Hey everyone, welcome back to the X-Ring. You know, I'm out here with Rick with Idger 6 Covered, and we're out here shooting these beautiful Anschutz rifles. So, you know, I caught a lot of flack when I did the review over the Ruger RPR versus the CZ455 and this, that, and the other, and the CZ will shoot lights out. Guys, uh, most of the 22s that I shoot pale in comparison to these Anschutz. These are old school. These are old West German Anschutz. This is a uh, model 1808 um, running bear or something like that. That's a model 64. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's That's what the name of it is, running boar or something. Who knows? Uh, but either way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the targets out here at 50 yards. I'm going to show you what they can do. Uh, typically, they'll hold groups. All the shots are always touching. But I guess I've been kind of spoiled, you know, shooting rifles like this that are single action only. Um, you know, it's a bolt action, but I mean, it's a single feed only. Yeah. It kind of spoils you a little bit. So we'll take a look at some of the rifles. They See shoot this. lights out. They shoot lights out. Let's go Let's check it out. It here, we're going to place it at 50 yards. And for reference, what I want you guys to see is this center right here actually measures half of an inch. You see that in between the two and the two and a half? Or I can go right here and you guys can see it's a half inch circle. Um, these rifles, these are big targets. So we're going to see if we can keep all five shots. I'll shoot, Rick will shoot, I'll shoot, Rick will shoot, and we'll just do it simultaneously. We'll hang these targets up. We'll see what happens. Half inch shot. It's half inch. Good God. Good God, that's tight. <laughs> we're going to find out we got a Ely club we're shooting. And uh, should be a we're good just time. Gonna, no, we're actually going to shoot Ely standard. Ely standard. Yep. God, look at the hair. Holy crap, the Beatles want their music back. <laughs> yes, they do. All right, so we're going to shoot some old Ely Standard. We'll do... Rick will take left side. He'll shoot the running boar. The little white dove. This is the running boar. Yeah, he'll shoot the running boar, and I will shoot the Model 64. So I don't know if we have enough ammunition. We'll see. I don't want to run back up to the house. So there you go. There's five shots. And I will take five. That's all we need, I hope. That should be good, yeah. We'll print a group, see what happens. All righty. So def definitely high quality rifle. You can tell by the action. You can tell by the uh, quality of the wood and the accuracy that it does have. So let's go. Uh, and these are all made in, these are the old West German models. They're actually marked West Germany. Yep, and they have an Indian name called. Running Boar. Running Boar. All right. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Want a bag? No, I'm good. I need to get my bullet in there the right way, though. Holy crap, what the heck? What the hell? Oh. So. You want to go first? You want me to go first? You go first. You go top left, I'll go top right. Just the edge of the bull. Edge of the bull, 10 o'clock. Top of the jet. Twelve o'clock. Pull that. Pull that. I've been hitting the bull every time. I just don't say it. I'm watching your target. Watching you. I'm going for taking out that whole dot. There, Ray. Bullseye. Bullseye. X ring. <laughs> So as you can see from that video, hopefully add it in a little bit. Get so, your beetle ass away I gotta get my head in there. <laughs> Come on over so here. guys, with these old school, I mean, these are like 1960s, 1970s eras rifles. I mean, they shoot lights out. Pound trigger on this bad doggy. 
Uh, actually, it's four ounces, I think, on that. Four ounces? Yeah, that's that one's dialed down to four ounces. I was going to say, it feels super light. Uh, there is, uh, yeah, if you try to measure it on a, a scale, it just doesn't even register, so. Yeah, as soon as you touch it. Yeah, as soon as you touch it. So, anyway, let's, we've got the camera down range. Hopefully, you see those groups. Now, remember, that inner, that inner bullseye is half inch. That's a half inch bullseye. So, let's try to do some sh more shooting, maybe, or do you call that good? Call it good? Just, let's try to switch it up let's go with some ely club I'm trying to see what to get over this is the direct delta so what we're going to do is we're going to put this up against an and shoots so you're going to have like one of the best 22 rifle manufacturers out there with one of the best knife manufacturers out there and what we're going to try to do is shoot this blade with a 22 from 50 yards and see if we can split it. all right let's go back to 50. Shooting Ely Standard out of this Anschutz Model 64. Here we go. Got them both. I did it and split the bullet. Nice. So both nice of those, work. both of those had no impact. And they were holding water. Holy water. Holding water. All right, let's go see. Get some. See if it works. All right, check it out, guys. You can actually see where it split the bullet there. We have, oh, I just wiped off the lead marking. And remember, these had no hits on them. There's an impact, and there's an impact. Oh, it ripped it open. So, yeah, it is possible. So here's that running bore or whatever it's called, but uh, you guys can see right there, made in West Germany. This has a Leupold Vary X3 on it with the adjustable objective, which is something that you need when you're shooting inside of 100 yards so you can keep everything nice and clear. The bolt knob is very reminiscent of something like you would see on the Accuracy International, you know? Very, very smooth action. And, and the trigger on this, guys, comes in at like four ounces, okay? You're not supposed to dry fire, so I'm not going to do it, but uh, it's literally like four ounces. Um, <laughs> we're going to go on out here. I want you guys <laughs> to, to look. That's not barrel. What that is is like a barrel weight, and you can adjust how much weight's on it. We're going to go over here to the 64, which a lot of people love these. You can see it has a little thicker barrel on the end. They turn it down. Still a heavy barrel. I don't know. Guys love these 64s. Now, this one has a little pulled on it, but this one is has special work on it done by Premier Reticle back in the day. It's a 40 power, I think, uh, with a doubler. And the action's not quite as smooth on that as on the running bore model. And the trigger's a little heavier. But all in all, these are some beautiful rifles. Let's look at that stipple work there. And I'm sure that was all hand burned in back in the day. All right. Hope you enjoyed that review of the Anschutz and the Microtex. Hopefully you guys have a great week. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.